Biotransformation is the chemical changing of substances in the body. The purpose of biotransformation is to transform fat-soluble substances into water-soluble substances because turning these substances into water-soluble substances increases our ability to eliminate these substances via the kidney. So water solubility equals renal elimination. And the purpose of biotransformation is essentially to detoxify the body. That's what your liver thinks it's doing with biotransformation. Transformation. The biotransformation enzymes that are not only in your liver but pretty much everywhere in your body are under the assumption that they are trying to detoxify the body. But something the body is able to do, the same systems that we use to detoxify the body, the same system also transforms nutrients that we need. The same system also makes hormones that we need. This is the same system that we use to transform drugs. And so understanding some basic concepts in biotransformation is one of the essential foundations in understanding the toxic drug-drug interactions. And when I talk about biotransformation, I'm mostly talking about the liver. However, you will notice that there's peripheral transformation, even gastrointestinal transformation. Many nutrients and toxins and drugs are transformed right as they pass through the gastrointestinal wall. But we like to just focus on liver transformation, where it's the one that has trust issues, and so uh, we'll consider the liver responsible for a majority of drug biotransformations. Uh, the CYP family of enzymes, otherwise known as the cytochrome P450 enzymes, they metabolize thousands of endogenous and exogenous compounds. Many enzymes in our body will only take one chemical, one drug, one hormone and convert it into its metabolized form. However, the CYP enzymes can metabolize all sorts of different chemicals, otherwise known as substrates. Substrate is just a fancy word for various chemicals. And so many of the CYP enzymes that you'll read about if you read big pharmacology books can metabolize all sorts of uh, different chemicals and substrates. Uh, human CYP enzymes are mostly membrane-bound proteins found in the inner membranes of the mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum of all sorts of cells. We talked about aromatic rings when we talked about biochemistry. Here are some polycyclic aromatic rings. They're just a collection of aromatic rings. And these are toxic to the body. So when your liver sees uh, aromatic rings, when your body sees aromatic rings, there's a system in there that looks at these aromatic rings and says, that's toxic, we need to do something about that. And so these cytochrome enzymes will see aromatic rings and make changes to those rings. Well, here's phenylalanine. It's an essential amino acid. And look right there, there's an aromatic ring. We convert phenylalanine into tyrosine. This is the strategy that the body is using. It sees this aromatic ring and puts a polar hydroxide group on it to make it more water soluble. So in effect, the body believes it's detoxifying this aromatic ring right here. But what it's really doing is taking phenylalanine, an essential amino acid, and converting it into tyrosine. So these detox systems are the same as the systems that transform nutrients. When we talk about synthesizing steroids in the adrenal cortex, all steroids come from cholesterol because of those sterol rings defying steroids. That's at least in pharmacology class on TV. Uh, they call all sorts of things steroids that aren't necessarily based on cholesterol. But in pharmacology class, in chemistry class, Anything that is a steroid is just quite simply based on cholesterol. And the body sees these complex ring structures and thinks well, complex ring structures like that have a tendency to be toxic. And so that cytochrome system will put all sorts of different polar groups on these rings to make them more water soluble. And what it's also doing is converting cholesterol into various hormones that we'll talk about, like aldosterone, our mineral corticoid, uh, cortisone, our glucocorticoid. Why is drug biotransformation even necessary? Well, most drugs would be fat soluble and strongly bound to plasma proteins and not readily filtered by the kidneys if we did not make those substances more water soluble and more easily eliminated by the kidneys. And not only drugs undergo this, uh, nutrients undergo this, and the whole point 
is that toxins require biotransformation because they're fat soluble and can be strongly bound to plasma proteins and not readily filtered by the kidney.